Shalom, Akim, the brother Raza right Allah from GMS London Camp. First and foremost, give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Rakakodash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders, the great millstone, and blessings unto the hopeful let run of four winds. Just another uh, quick article came across a few moments ago from the Telegraph, you know, showing you that the cashless society is running rampant worldwide, soon to be um, made mandatory soon by the, you know, the governments. World government starting from Babylon the Great America, man. You know, it's um, homeless people wearing barcodes to accept cashless payments. Now, this is all about convenience, man, because this is how this, how this devil moves the so called white man who's known as the devil, the serpent seed in the Bible, man. This is how they move, man. You know, they move very subtle, which means up under the web. They told you in the book of Genesis that, you know, the serpent was more subtle than any creature in the forest, man. Talking about the spirit of the so-called white man, because he's the devil that the Bible speaks of, and he comes in that serpent-type manner, meaning that he moves cunningly with devised fables, man. You know, and he moves, um, you know, in, in, in like step by step, in slow processes. But you know, that poison's still there, man. He's, he, he, that poison's the RFID chip system, man, which he's coming with slowly but surely, and we're definitely in that time. It says as homeless people are handed a QR code similar to the kind issued for online tickets. And why is that? Because, you know, cash is becoming inordinate and they're, they're going to start basically getting rid of cash, man. And the only way you're going to be able to set, accept payments is digitally, man. And by way, and mainly by way of that new monetary system being the microchip system, which is the mark of the beast. You know, um, the image of the beast, which is a system, which means a pit. A trap, and that's why they're getting everyone, um, you know, convinced that this is, um, you know, out with the old technology and in with the new. And as, a, as I said, a thing of convenience, man, a thing of not having to do too much to get um, gains in this society, man, you know, in regards to finances and all that, you know. It says homeless people are wearing barcodes around their necks in an attempt to increase donations in the cashless society. So they're even saying it to you in their face, it says a cashless society, because that's what this devil wants. You know, because that whole RFID chip technology is based off credit and debit systems, man. And um, as I said, cash, um, coins and all that, FRN notes are inordinate, man. They're not required. It says under an Oxford University backed initiative. So you know, you've got top universities backing this, man. You know, so th this, this, this goes all the way up. You know, from the higher ups, the top elites, this is their, you know, so-called greater plan. You know, they, they called it the greater change. This is a new social innovation project called the greater change. And what's that greater change? That new RFID chip, microchip, um, a monetary system that they're going to out, um, output and push out to the masses, man. And anyone that doesn't want to partake in it, as the scripture says, they're going to be killed. They don't want to wor worship the image of the beast, this new system. They're going to be taken out and made enemy combatants. But two thirds, you know, of you Negroes, Latinos, and Jakes, you're going to, you're going to partake in that because you have no faith in your power, which is Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Heavenly Father and His Son. And, uh, and you, you're going to trust in this devil. You're going to put your trust in Egypt, modern day America, man, and bow down to his system. It says, hands homeless people a QR code similar to the kind issued. Uh, for online tickets, it says passerby who wish to give money but who may not have any change in their pocket. See, because pocket money is going to be an, um, inadequate, man. It's going to be um, it's going to be senseless in a minute. It says can scan the code using their smartphones and make an online payment to the person. So we're in the time of this this whole, you know, after the next couple false flag attacks and economic collapse of this whole society, man. Because you got Turkey crying about how they're, they're blaming America for the for the downfall of their stock, um, their stocks or their um, monetary system based upon the dollar. I think their the Turkish coin is called lira. You know their currency is called lira, and they just dropped about 14% um, or something like that in the market. And they're blaming America because they know America controls, you know, or is being controlled um, on the financial stage, man. And they're causing all the havoc on the World Trade Center, man, and the World Trade Market. You know, and then on top of that, Trump just threw a tariff <coughs> on Turkey as well. So they're pissed right now. You know, I was going to go into that in another another video, but you know, all the nations are going to be affected. This is going to be a worldwide effect, man, a domino effect to try and bring in this new um um greater change that these devils are calling it, man, the new world order. And they're coming out parties that that chip, man, the RFID chip.
which is the mark of the beast. <coughs> um, it says the nation goes into a, an account which is managed by a caseworker who ensures that the money is spent on, a, on agreed targets, such as saving a rental deposit or a new, a new passport. This is the problems we're trying to solve here is that we live in an increasingly cashless society. It says, and as well as uh, this, when people give their worry, give, give their worry about what this money might be spent on. Alex McCallion, founder of Greater Change, so there's that Oxford um, University, one of them devils up there. It says, so um, the solution we've come up with is a given, is a giving mechanism. And that's what the RFID chip is. It's a mechanism, a money mechanism, but it can control all things, all facets of life, your health, your financial, your well-being and all that, you know, and even getting in and out of, um, you know, buildings and all that into your car, all that shit, man. It controls all facets of life. You know, that's that mechanism that these devils want to introduce, you know, that new mechanism of convenience. So it's through your smartphone with a restrictive fund. And through that, you know, RFID chip, these devils can restrict your funds, man. They can take away your shit and they can add to your shit, man, you know. Add to your credit and take away from your credits. If they so please, man. It's all going to be controlled because that's what this devil wants. All, all, ultimate control, man. Autonomous control. <clears throat> so let's go even a picture of it here. With the, you know, the app. It says the donation goes into an account which is managed by a caseworker. Credit. Damn. It's crazy, man. But that's the kind of shit that's going to come up when you... um. Have the RFID chip stuck in your damn right hand or in your forehead, man. Or in your, your left or right bum cheek, man. Wherever they put it, you're going to have an account that's going to be able... These devils going to be able to access, man, and control. You know, it says, when you scan the barcode on your smartphone, a profile of the homeless person appears. This tells you more about their, cir their circumstances. See? It says, uh, you know, in your in-goings and outgoings, man. It says, such as how they became homeless or what their job used to be. Damn. You know, this is the project which is being trailed, trialed in Oxford. It's supported by the Oxford University Innovation and Oxford said business schools. See, see these devils, man. It goes all the way up, man. This ain't no small thing. This is a, this is a global economical thing, man. And these devils are coming hard, man. They're coming slow, but they're coming hard. And because they know that their time is short, as they told you in Revelations 12 and 12. So this is a damn well good article. I'm going to bookmark this and make sure I save this. Just in case these devils, you know, get rid of this article one way, one way or another, as they do sometimes. So, um, yeah, man, this is this is the realness right here. And then I've got another article I just came across on the same topic. And this one's that one was in the UK. This one's in America. And it says MLB and NFL fans submit faces and fingerprints to buy food, beer, and tickets. And this is from massprivatal.blogspot.com. You know. And they're doing it over there in the Americas, man. This is the facial and fingerprints recognition, you know, that biometrics. And, um, you know, the RFID chip mark of the beast is the ultimate biometric system, man, that they're going to introduce, you know. And the biometrics means the bio means the body, and the metric means the measure. So this is how they're going to measure the peoples, man, and control your ass by way of that microchip system, man, to buy food, beer, and tickets. And this is just, just another um, way of that cashless society coming in, you know. Another form, another way of forms of, of forms of control is if, if you still value your privacy, I urge you to stay away from major um, league sporting events. And over here in the UK, they're building new stadiums now that have this new like biometric um, um, security systems where it's not you don't just get through the, um, the barriers or anything with tickets or whatever. You you have to be um, biometrically um, measured, man. You know, and then you go you go and you, basically they're saying that. Um, they're going to be like the TSA barriers in them airports with certain heavy security guards and all that. And they've got the barriers where you can just walk through and they can check everything, man. Check all your biometrics and everything you're doing, man. You know, know everything about you just by you walking through a damn scanner. And ultimately, that's going to be with these um, RFID chips, man, when you, when you put them in your hands and you're on your forehead. You know, that's what this whole thing's about. It's a complete, as they said, the greater change, man. The new world order. It says, um... Yesterday, Clear Biometrics announced they have installed biometric fingerprint scanners at Seattle's Centrelink and CFCO um, Fields concession stands. It says, but this story does not end there. It says the video also revealed that MLS Sounders FC team is being is using biometrics to spy on fans. And this is what the devils can do. That's what it's about. 
You know, it says none of, none of this should come as a surprise to soccer fans. Early this year, Russia revealed that they have used CITES facial recognition to spy on 1.2 million World um, Cup fans. So this shit is in the air, man. This shit is, you know, this shit is definitely happening. It's in the works for all the sheep out there that don't, can't still see that they, what's going on in society. Everything's been changed before their eyes. You know, they're, they're just going to be the, you know, the sheep. Because they, you know, as a, at least coin them, they call them goyim. As they call them, they basically look at them as cattle, sheep, all man, you know, sleep, you know, uh, the ones that are still stuck in the matrix, so to speak. But you've got the men of the Lord out there from the apostles and the elders, the great most and on down, that are warning Israel, the flock, of what's to come because they're, 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 we're not in the matrix, man. We're not stuck in the matrix like these sheep who are here. You know, we've been awoken and been chosen, man, to push this word and warn Israel, man. You know, that's what the prophets are supposed to be doing. So, you know, the enemy's definitely coming. Esau's definitely coming down very soon man with that that hammer of war and he's gonna he's gonna slam it on you uh, you negroes latinos and native americans because you are the biblical israelites and he wants to exterminate you off the face of the earth man and put you back into perpetual slavery but anyway I'm, i'll put these um articles in the description box i'm just gonna read one or two scriptures and then close out man this is revelation 13 start from 15 it says and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, which represents the system. You know, brothers know these precepts. I'm just going through it, you know, quickly. It says that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as will not worship the image of the beast, meaning this new monetary system these devils are going to come up with, the microchip, so it should be killed. So if anyone doesn't don't want to take part of it, whether witch or poor, you know, small or great in a society, they're going to be made enemy combatants, man, and, more, and most likely killed. And that's why these devils are coming up with the, that new capital punishment of the bringing back the guillotine, man, you know, to behead people, which it says in the scriptures. Especially the men of the Lord, they're going to try and force the chip on them, you know. It says, verse 16, it says, And he calls if all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. Now, see, that's not a joke. This is actually going to take place. This is actually taking place already in certain countries like Sweden, you know, but it's not on a mass scale. You know, it's not um, totally um, been made mandatory and worldwide yet, but it's going to be, man. This, this devil, these devils are slick and cunning, man. This is how they move, you know. So it's verse 17, it says, and, uh, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that have the mark, see. So that's why they're pushing it on the homeless to say, you want to eat, you want to you wanna drink, you want to get this, that and the other, you know. Take care of yourself, um, you know, take this, this mark. Or whatever, this this they're saying using that um that that card, whatever that bar, a barcode card that they got on their chest, whatever for now, you know. But later on, they're gonna say, boy, if you you want to eat and drink, you know, you gotta take this chip in your right hand or your forehead. And more more than likely, most homeless people are gonna take it because they want to eat, you know. But he said it's gonna come across all people, free and born, rich and poor, you know, small and great. So everyone's gonna be put in that that trial, man, the hour of temptation. But, you know, only the men of the Lord are not going to partake in it, man. They're going to forbade that, you know, even unto death. It says, um, that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. See? So this is coming to pass before our very eyes, man. So, you know, anyone that's talking about the RFID chip being the mark, or the mark of the beast, you're, you're just a complete numbskull and an arsehole. And you, sh you ain't got no business teaching out of the scriptures, man. You know, you should just go back into the world and stay sheep or like you are at the moment. You know, it says Isaiah 36 and 6, it says, Lo, thou trustest in the staff of this broken reed on Egypt. That's this this new system that's going to come into play, man. You know, it says, Whereon if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. It says, So is Pharaoh the king, so is Pharaoh king of Egypt to all that trust in him. And that's the majority of the people on the earth because they trust in Esau's system, especially two thirds of our people, man, that don't know no better, man. And the Lord ain't going to redeem them at this time. He's, they're going to have to die on this side and come back in the kingdom of heaven to come very soon as newborn babes, man. You know, newborn babies. You know, because right now the Lord ain't coming to deliver all Israel. He's only going to come and deliver his remnant, that cluster of grapes he's elect, man, on this side. You know, but the rest that are blinded, they're going to perish along with um, the wicked and the other nations, being the so-called white man and the heathen nations uh, in that lake of fire, which is the second death, man. You know, so that broken reed represents that chip, man. You know, and the, the as I said, the majority of the people are going to take that chip because they put their trust in Egypt. With Isaiah 30, 30, 1, it says, Woe unto the rebellious children, talking about you Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, 
especially two thirds of you, man, because you're 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 against the Most High. The rebellion, man. You're rebellious. It says, "Say if you're warring against the Most High." It says, "Say if the Lord." It says, "Take that. Take counsel, but not of me." You're not. Yeah. How are you not taking counsel by listening to the men? His men out there on the highways and byways, on the YouTube, day and night, man, 24/7, 365 around the year, man. You know, pump, pumping out this word. You know, publicizing this word on the internet, man. Using the on the unicorn. You know. And then the two thirds ain't taking heed. They ain't taken to the Lord's counsel, man, because he speaks through his men. He says, but not of me, and that cover up with a covering, but not of my spirit. Yeah, they take on an Esau spirit. They trust in Esau, that's why you got the nigger woman slapping bleach in their hair or wearing a damn weave that looks blonder than the so called white man, a white woman's weave, man, or white, a white woman's hair, you know. They, if they had a chance, they'll put blue contacts on as well, man. Just because they're, they're so morphed in their system and they hate themselves and they don't realise that they're supposed to be a superior people uh, uh, against these inferiors. That's uh, that's Esau and other nations, man. You know, but mainly Esau. But instead, they want to look like they're oppressors, man. That's how mind-fucked and boggled and bugged out our people are to, to this day, you know. It says, but not of my spirit. It says that they may add sin to sin. Yeah, and, um, you know, that's, that's um, you know, Israel for you, man. So anyway, I'm going to close out. Give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, Hashem, Rukha, Kodash. And until next time, I say Shalom.